So um, there's this beautiful thing called Craigslist. I always joke about it because you have these diamond in the rough things that seem really interesting and then you also have like the pit of death in there as well. So for a creator, it's always interesting. It's literally like a mystery box. You never know what you're gonna get. And when we reached in, we happened to get Edwin. And uh, you know, it was a godsend you know, for us for a project because we were looking to do something interesting and different and innovative um, and something that you know might be a little bit controversial as well. And um, I, what made me so excited about working with Edwin was just his passion right off the gate. When we had our first meeting, I could tell that he loved his lore, he loved uh, his, he basically just loved doing what he did. And um, as soon as you uh, pick that up from anyone, it just, it's infectious. It gets you excited about the project. That's amazing. So how did Fagatron come to be? You can tell us a little snippet about. Fagatron has been a, uh, Character that I developed about ten years ago. Amazing. Um, so it's pretty actually a book that I'm working on, um, uh, which is the origin story of Fagatron. Uh, so over the quarantine, I was stuck at home like everybody else. Uh, so I took some screenwriting classes on um, my Miami day and um, online, and I decided that I wanted to make a film. I was like, you know, my book is not ready yet, yeah. so I wanted to you know bring it to life. Uh, so I put an ad on Craigslist. I'm sorry, and uh, I. Said, you know, looking for some filmmakers to help me film a movie. And you got a response? And I got a response from Jonathan. It was a very passionate uh, response. How he would be so happy to uh, help with the project. He was very interested. Uh, so we did a Zoom call. Uh, and it was just magic. We worked on the screenplay together, uh, going back and forth. And, um, you know, the story is a day in the, it's a, it's a day in the life of Fragatron. So it is in that universe of my book. Mm -hmm. um, it's obviously different from the book, but it was. Fascinating to see my characters come to life uh, and see the vision come to life. Jonathan and Ethan, uh, that orange entertainment, just an absolutely fantastic uh, organization to work with. They were so professional and I learned so much from them. Um, my company, Ftron Productions, uh, combined with their star power, mm -hmm. uh, it was just really a magical experience. That's amazing. Uh, and now I have another question for you. So, is Fagatron? Obviously, he's from another galaxy, which is super dope. But is he Latino? He is. His mother is Puerto Rican actress Lola Miranda, who was kidnapped from Earth and taken to the planet Galaxia. But she was mated to one of Galaxia Galacticons, and uh, Fagatron. Willie? Uh, yes, she is the queen. Willy? She is the queen of Galaxia. Yes. So uh, she was. She became impregnated um, by choice, and her pregnancy lasted ten years. And on October thirty first, she gave birth to Fagatron. The first of his kind, he was a Galacticon with human skin and a human heart. Oh my god, amazing. Wow. And he was immediately named the next King of Galaxia, which pissed off a lot of people. <laughs> <laughs> we have and a lot to look forward that to is the story. Uh, later tonight. You'll get a little hint of that in the film Fagatron King of Galaxia. Um, the setting is uh, a talk show, uh, Voltage News, mm -hmm. um, and it's pretty much the uh, character Enrique Caliente. He has scored an interview with Fagatron. And you know, it's just a fun, it's a very fun uh, film and just a little taste of what's to come. I'm going to be working on a web series. And uh, Jonathan, are you working on that web series? He will be assisting. Yes, hopefully. I'll be assisting with the development of that as well. That's amazing. So, yeah. That's amazing. So well, we have a lot, lot of exciting things. To. And also, please take a look at my documentary, A Game, The Life of a Superhero, The Making of the Fagatron 2022 Calendar. Um, I did that in conjunction with Juvenile Media. Um, it's directed by Chad Hughes. It's absolutely fantastic. I've been so blessed this year to work with Jonathan Gill and Chad Hughes on both projects. Um, and I'm super excited uh, to share all of that with you. Amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Wait, I have a couple more questions for our director sure. here. So no why were you looking for work on Crisis? Tell us a little bit more about crisis? how long have you been making films and okay. what what drew what what made you say that's where I'm going that's where to I'm look going. for work? 
Woo! Okay, well that's a loaded question, but um, I've always loved <laughs> filmmaking. Uh, you know, since you know back when I was in high school, I loved it. I used to review movies on uh, on a YouTube channel with a couple of my buddies. Eventually, that love of movies translated into me wanting to say, how can I, you know, make this? How can I make these adventures and these worlds come to life off the screen? And um, I really wanted to do it, but you know, I was my degree had nothing to do with it when I was in college. Which was, is what I'm a cyber operations major. Wow. So pretty much when it was like He's summer amazing. breaks, yeah, I would work on things like that. And then when Corona happened and my college semester got shut down my, my junior year, I'm like, oh man, I gotta do something. So I was sitting down, I wanted to be creative, and I'm like, you know what, if I'm gonna be here at home, I might as well be productive. And I went ahead and came up with Battle Range Entertainment. And um, I remember previously I worked on like my first big project. It was like qualified as a feature to some degree, it's like 45 minutes, but I love doing like action adventure films, things with with a little bit of a comedic flair as well. So this was a natural. So this was a natural progression so awesome. into doing something um, a little bit different on that front. And um, when I made my company, it's like you know we didn't know where to start, right? So um, I remember thinking about Craigslist is just an idea to reach out to some people and see what happens. Mm -hmm. and the nice thing about that is you reach out to one person, they tell a friend, and then eventually you have people coming to you and asking you questions. So it's less of you looking out. But Craigslist, that was like back in one of the earlier days of Baggertron or you know Bad Orange, you know when we were working on stuff. So 2020, that was the first year, and you were looking around Craigslist, and everyone came about, and I remember thinking, like, ah, oh, I don't know, it's going to be interesting, you know, I think we should just go ahead and fall down the rabbit hole. Yeah, it's so crazy for me to think that that's how we met, you know? Ah, like, I mean, nobody needs like, like that anymore, so. Here I have, like, this oh, really exactly. straight Navy guy, <laughs> um, and my name is Flagatron. Oh, that's fine. And, <laughs> Yeah, what made you be like click on this and be like, that's kind of interesting? We wanted to branch out and do something different, you know. Um, I've, I've always touched on action, I've done comedy, mm -hmm. done a little bit of drama, um, and then something in like the LGBTQ community. I'm like, okay, this is interesting. I want to do it. I've never done it before, and rarely do I do things that I don't write. So I'm like, okay, or, you know, that I don't come up with the initial idea for. So. It hit both those check boxes. That's awesome. Felt like I wanted to challenge myself as a filmmaker, That's and awesome. uh, it was just a great experience, you know, from pre-production to post-production, being on set, um, and just hopefully, I've never seen a public reaction. Yeah, honestly, the best excited. lesson I ever had about filmmaking, like, this guy, is I can't even explain to you like, the professionalism that, wow. like, that all that navy, and gratitude, all that navy training, like, just really <laughs> seeps into his work. And he was just so he ran so, a tight ship. He was he, he runs a very tight ship. ship. And he was so professional and so on it in our meetings every week. It was just so exciting and they were so caring and so it was so important to them to make my story, you know, come to life. And it was really like something that I could never have imagined. Like I got so lucky wow. to like to have them fall into my hands. Wow, okay, well that's that. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, Magatron and John Thank you for having us. Cool.